do something you might find interesting. We got a big announcement. Huge announcement. Big announcement today. And you're going to hear a little background noise because this is a time of day. There's a couple hours. The workmen go crazy. The dog barks because of it. Plus, I got this washing machine going in the background, washing up. I rented this washing machine. They dropped it off. Right now it's 11 o'clock in the morning on Friday. They're picking it up Sunday at 1 o'clock. And it costs 17,000 pesos, which is just under $6 to rent. I've been washing my clothes by hand actually in that little sink there and um, I decided to go ahead and give this a try so I've let everything build up. I've got all kinds of sheets and blankets and towels and oh my god there must be 25 black t-shirts <laughs> So we're going to give this a try, see how it goes, and uh, I'll let you know. So first, I got a little clip here about water. It may not be a big thing to you, but it's huge to me. I'm here, I'm drinking this water. So take a look at this. Here's something you might find interesting. When I uh, first moved to Cuenca over three years ago, I lived in a, on the seventh floor of Edificio Olympia. Um, very nice building. New. It was two years old, I believe. And everybody talks about the water, so I was curious. So I poured into a jar, uh, not unlike this one, water out of the tap. And I set it out on the table. Two days later, it was discolored with a reddish color. Kind of a, not rust red, but more of a brighter red. So I took the jar and I scrubbed it out. I threw some bleach in it. And then I rinsed it. And then I did it again. And one or two days later, whatever that growth was, was in there again. It wasn't green, it was red. And I tried it a couple times after that. I always got the same result. Something grew out of that water. So here I am in Armenia, Colombia. And um, this is filled with water. We are going into the fifth week now with this water out of the tap. I drink the tap water in Cuenca. I drink the tap water here. It's probably stupid. But the water here, as you can see in that video clip, it's crystal clear. It stays crystal clear. And uh, I feel very comfortable about it. There may be some areas in town that have older infrastructure. It, it might be problematic. I don't know. But where I live, um, I'm drinking it. I'm okay. I love those tacos so much. But I dedicated a video to tacos, right? Those tacos are crazy delicious. And they were one block from my house. Opened at 6 o'clock in the evening. And I could just walk up there and grab a couple tacos. Maybe a beer or a limonada. And I was in heaven. I could do that once a week. Oh. He was a friend of the Lucas restaurant. Where that thin, really pretty girl with the hair that would pose for the camera discreetly <laughs> which cracked me up well that was Lucas restaurant and he could work in the front because he's friends with the owner and not long ago I decided to I hadn't been there in a couple weeks I decided to go up and hit him up for tacos he's not there and the sign that said Lucas is now Juan changed hands. I was devastated. 
So I start searching on Facebook. I... During a search, I found the girl with the frizzy hair, so I sent her a message, and she responded back. Apparently, they moved up near Port Alcandillo. Well, I'm not going to walk up there. I mean, during the day, if I'm going to go up there for some purpose, I don't mind the walk. It's only about 15 minutes. But just to grab a couple tacos, eh, it's not going to happen. And I don't go out at night usually anyway, so by the time I walk up there, when they open, get the tacos, come back, it's just not something I do. I'm an early riser. I get up 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm in the house here by 6, 7 at the latest. I go to sleep about 2 in the morning. My tacos for now are gone. Yeah, there's other tacos, but those were special tacos. I don't know why, but they were really, really good. The big news, the big announcement. Finally. Now, it's an older phone. It's a Samsung S7. I think that's the one that would blow up. <laughs> this one was brand new in the box. Guy here, uh, probably 18, 19 years old. His sister, older sister, who actually lives and works in Germany, who I met, she's back here on a two week vacation. She gave him this cell phone as a present except he had just bought a better cell phone. Uh, this is a really good phone, but it's, you know, a couple years old. And he just bought a state-of-the-art new one. So he had no use for it. So he put it up for sale. Bargain price, 700,000 pesos, 200 and some odd dollars. Well, I've been a little poor lately, um, kind of living on the edge. So I, I just couldn't give him the 700000 or I'm going to run out of money. So I said, how about 600000 That's That's about all I had. And he said, okay, but it doesn't have this, this, and this with it. He scarfed it for his other phone because the Samsung was better quality. And he gave away the ones from his other phone. I said, well, then I'm going to have to buy those, so I'll give you 550 550 he said, but they're selling for nine hundred, which is true. They are. They're selling for around nine hundred thousand, three hundred dollars. And I said, well, I understand. I'm not trying to beat you down. I'm just telling you that's all I have. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, I understand. No problem. And I was actually kind of looking for an LG G6 because they're supposed to have this crazy superior camera, and that's really what I use it for anyway. But I was having trouble finding them in the price range that, you know, the, the poverty range that I'm trying to buy one in. So I don't know what to do because if I go, you know, everything else in that five to six hundred, the cameras are really crap. And I really need a decent camera. And I'll explain why. But he got back to me and he says, okay. And he's going to deliver it to my house. So he comes here with his sister. She speaks English. We had a nice little chat. Very nice person. And got the phone. And it was brand new in the box. So I got the phone in the box with a little uh, equip, little tool with it. I'm really happy. I fired it up. And it's working flawlessly. The battery's killer. The camera is as good as I had hoped very very happy so I'm back in business you're gonna start seeing now why why didn't I just go out with this camera this Canon out on the street well here's the thing it's a great camera and if I were in the US I I would do it but here if you're going out alone even in a place like Armenia you have to be preventative now just because I, I never really see crime, doesn't really exist much at all here. Doesn't mean if I had this fat, juicy Canon camera uh, with its attachment looking all impressive that some starving Venezuelan out of desperation isn't going to try to rob it. So, you know, when you're out alone, you've got to be careful about things like that. You've got to be able to conceal them easily. Can't do it with this Canon. 
So that's not going to happen. Didn't you have a GoPro? Yes, $550 this GoPro 5 cost me. Problem is, and it's a nice little camera, but the sound quit working on it. And I bought a 30 some dollar attachment for it. Uh, for the sound, it doesn't matter, the sound actually internally something happened and the sound was like, I mean you can't, you can't hear anything. Well, this was an answer, you know, I need sound, not always, but uh, very often I need sound. And it's not fitting in the stabilizer, there was an adapter I was going to get to put it in the stabilizer, I can't find one here, uh, so maybe in the future, but Without the sound, it's really kind of problematic anyway. So what did I always use? I always use my uh, Samsung Note. Bigger screen. This is a smaller screen, but I actually like it better because it fits in my pocket. It's thin enough. You don't really even notice it in the pocket. You can just pull it out. It's got a quick start button for the camera, hit video do your thing and then throw it back in your pocket very discreet you're walking around it, there's nothing inviting there's nothing noticeable and the quality is pretty decent but a, better than that the sound in this thing is really good that's what i've been waiting for uh, i had a cam I, I bought a cheap cell phone and it got me by as far as being able to get my messages and things when i'm out walking around but the camera uh, the camera was the worst camera in the world. For videos, it was unusable. So I had to wait until I could scrounge up enough money, bought this one. It was a great deal, a lot of phone for the money. I'm broke again, but I can start doing some video clips. ATM, it keeps coming up questions. I just want to quickly mention something else about the ATM. I search the ATMs to find what's the best service for me. Now what I use is a Capital One debit card. I opened a checking account and I have a Capital One debit card. They have no international fee. Plus Capital One, it seems like they're probably going to be, they've been around for a long time. They're probably going to be around for a long time. So. That's what I've got. It's, it's worked fine. It's, it's been great. Trying it in different ATMs is a thing. So when I was in Ecuador, the very best was uh, Ostro, Banco Ostro. Absolutely no fees, uh, $600 limit, but I could do up to three times in a day. So here I do the same thing. I check different ATMs. And you have to be careful because they can be pretty expensive, like Banco Colombia which has been around forever, it's the big bank. It's like Bank of America, it's big bank. But uh, uh, oh, they kill you on the fees. They charge you a big fee, 18,000 pesos, uh, $6, $6 on the fee, plus they hit you several hundred pesos on the exchange rate. I mean, so you're getting it on both ends. It's terrible. Uh, the washing machine just stopped. Yay. Now, Davi Vienda has no fee. And they only hit you about 100 uh, pesos per dollar. So if the exchange rate is 3,100, you're going to get 3,000, basically. Not bad. Pretty good. Colpatria has a big fee except with Capital One there's no fee it's it's canceled out it says there's a fee on the screen when it comes down to it there's no fee and you get current up-to-the-date exchange rate as a matter of fact I tested it out I went on my uh, phone I checked right now what's the exchange rate this very minute then I went in I put the card in and it was exactly the same 3152 it was and that's exactly what I got with no fee. So Cole Patria with Capital One card is absolutely the best. Last thing I'm going to do is leave you with this clip. Now it's the little things in life that can give you a lot of pleasure, right? Three years in Ecuador, you really 
lose your expectations because it just brings disappointment or frustration. So if you want to have a good hamburger, I mean, it was fun to make videos and things, but yeah, you know, it's kind of, if I want a hamburger, if I eat lobster, forget it. There's, there is no lobster. So there are certain things in life that it's like, it'd be nice to have once in a while. Cream cheese is one of them. And you see on the forums, people asking all the time, what cream cheese is edible? Because so many of them are just nasty. So I hunted around. I found a cream cheese in uh, Super Maxi in Cuenca. I don't remember the brand now, but I mentioned it in the video. You know, it wasn't bad. It might have been Alpina, which is actually a Colombian product. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was just you know, so-so. It didn't have that horrible taste to it, but it just wasn't that cream cheese like Philadelphia. I hadn't had Philadelphia cream cheese now and going on four years. It's a small thing. Who cares, right? They add up. They add up to a lot of frustrations. Well, here in Colombia, pretty much everything is available. Now, I just kind of fall into a rut of no expectations because of all that time in Ecuador. I come here, I'm not even searching out certain things. I'm just going and buying, you know, eggs and bread and milk and, you know, plus poverty will do that to you. Anyway, I need to go down to the Supermercado in Loralis, which is uh, near Puerto Alcandillo Mall, which is about 15 minutes from here, because that's where I can get Grano's bean coffee that is, is actually my favorite. It's called Sorrento, not Salento like the town. It's called Sorrento, double R. It's crazy good. It's, it's my absolute favorite. It's the only place I can buy it. And it's pretty reasonable, uh, 16,000 pesos, five under $6 for a big thing. So I go down there for that, but I'm walking around the store. Uh, there's a, one block from me, it's an Olympica, kind of a eh store, but it has the basics. And that's where I usually, I just walk up there and walk back with a tote bag. Because here, plastic bags, they charge you which is fine it's I don't know what it is it's so small you don't even notice like a couple pesos but they're really small and they're really weak but they charge you can buy a tote bag for like 70 cents and it's this big durable thing I keep forgetting them I've got a collection right now of probably 15 of them but um, that's where I usually go but they don't have that coffee so I go up there I get the coffee I'm walking around the store checking it out saying oh my god look at this oh my god look at that they got an entire USA gringo section which is kind of cool oh look at those yeah but I'm not gonna buy it because you know it, it, it's it's a little pricier it's not out of it's not horrendous like in super maxi but it's you know it's up there and when you're poor so I go walking along and I see Philadelphia cream cheese. And I go, a double take. No, it can't be, it can't be. I mean, I know here you can get whatever you want, but in Armenia, not so much. If I go to Pareda, oh, Medellin for sure, Bogota, absolutely. Armenia is really a small town, under 300,000 people, including its suburbs. Yeah, and there's hardly any gringos here, so you wouldn't think a lot of call. But there it was, Philadelphia cream cheese. And let me show you this clip. I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you how happy I am that I went to the Supermercado Loralis and found Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, if you're eating cream cheese in Ecuador, or even uh, the basic cream cheese in Colombia, although Alpina is not bad. But nothing in the world is as good as Philadelphia. Yeah, I know, they should be sponsoring my channel. <laughs> but it's been almost four years since I've had Philadelphia cream cheese. And so I got it, and I broke into it, and... Oh my God, you start to wonder if it's just your imagination. Was it really as good as you thought it was? Uh, I'm here to tell you, absolutely, yes. Huge difference. Best cream cheese in the world. Oh, happy boy. 
So I got that cream cheese, I got home, I opened it up, I whacked off a slab of it like this, and I just, I had to know. I mean, am I just, you know how you kind of think back and things are, there's more color to them, there's more flavor to them, life was better, I mean, as time goes on, right? Comes distorted, so eh, maybe that's the case here. Oh my God, it's exactly as I remembered it. Crazy good. Ah. It's little things in life. It's little things in life. I got that. I got a stabilizer. I got some time over the next week. I'm going to be doing some clips. I, within the next two or three weeks, I'm going to hit a couple of the small towns nearby. I'm excited to get back into the business. But I do have to finish the series. I've got two more episodes and they're going to be sitting right here on this couch going blah, 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 blah. But I'm telling you, i got scenery coming. Hang in there. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you're not contributing to the channel, but you're getting something out of it, please contribute. I mean, a couple dollars a month. Please, please, please. Things are expensive. Would really like to replace this camera one of these days. I've got a GoFundMe account, absolutely, feel free. But that all aside, thank you very much. I'm up to 2,000 subscribers, woohoo, it's big for me. And on top of that, uh, since I began this puny little channel talking about blah, 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 daily things, I've got half a million views. That's a lot. I know there's guys out there that have millions of subscribers and multi-millions of views, but for me, this little bitty channel, thanks to all of you. See you soon.